cross, loop, buttonhole, and special stitches. Cross-shaped stitches form an elastic stitch line due to the crisscross intersection of threads and are most commonly used on garment hems. Catch stitch. The stitch can be either visible, running along the edge, or blind, hidden inside the fold of the hem. Open catch stitch. We usually do two to three stitches per centimeter when working with fraying materials and one stitch per centimeter with regular fabrics. The stitch width is three to five millimeters depending on the fabric. Blind catch stitch does not show on the right or wrong side as the stitches are hidden inside the fold of the hem. Fold the garment back from the seam allowance and do a cross-shaped catch stitch. There are usually three to four stitches per centimeter, each stitch being three to four millimeters long. Loop stitches. Loop stitches are mostly used to get the strongest and most elastic stitch lines. The name says it all. The stitch is done in the shape of a loop. Backstitch. Backstitch copies the look of machine stitching and is usually done in areas where it is hard or impossible to do a machine seam. For example, when gathering multiple layers of a skirt. Distinguishing stitch features, there is no spacing between the stitches and the needle is inserted at the end of the previous stitch. Pick stitch. To do the stitch, you should insert the needle through the top layer of fabric and catch only a couple of threads from the bottom layer. It is used to secure the inner allowances to the inside of a garment, facings, etc. Or as a decorative seam. Tailor's Tacks Compared to straight tailor's tacks, this stitch is stronger, but the application is the same. Looped tailor's tacks are usually 5 to 7 millimeters long with one to two stitches per each centimeter. The thread is pulled out by one to 1.5 centimeters. Once the stitch line is finished, slowly pull the pieces apart and cut the threads in between. The threads of this loop stitch are less likely to fall out as they sit tight in fabric. For securing seams. Loop stitches are also used to end stitches in hand sewing. For example, when sewing buttons, hook and eye closures, or snap fasteners. The stitch length is 0.3 to 0.4 centimeters. Buttonhole stitches. Buttonhole stitches are used for finishing hand sewn buttonholes as well as decorative edging. Buttonhole Blanket Stitch This stitch is used for finishing buttonholes or seam allowances when it is impossible to use a serger or when you want to have a decorative edge. The stitch length and spacing depends on a particular sewing purpose. To do the buttonhole stitch, you should sew 6 to 10 stitches per centimeter, each two to three millimeters wide. Special stitches. Special stitches are used to make bar tacks and sew hardware to the garment. Buttons, hook and eye closures, loops, snap fasteners, etc. You can also do air thread loops by stitching. <laughs>